think the question we should be asking is not whether criminals can play a role in peace building, but whether they actually already are. There's lots of evidence to suggest that in countries like Sierra Leone or El Salvador, groups involved in criminal activity have been involved in peace efforts and peacemaking processes. Sometimes this leads to a reduction in violence, and sometimes, unfortunately, it leads to pretty terrible consequences with the criminalization of post-conflict uh, uh, governance structures. So we need to be thinking about how different criminal strategies are leading to different dynamics of exit from conflict and what role uh, there might be for peace builders in tackling those different criminal strategies, particularly in post-conflict settings.